So you worked with Joe and Clara and Hannah. And mostly Hannah. And I loved her. And she was, oh, so she was just, she was a wonderful teacher. She corrected me. She, she taught me sort of how to learn. She was patient, she was kind. Um, Clara was mean. <laughs> and Joe was tough. But the uh -huh. thing about Joe was like, I came there because I had back trouble. I had terrible mm -hmm. back trouble. I could, I just had a baby, but before that I, I couldn't even shift my Volkswagen. I had such trouble in my wow. life. Mm -hmm. um, and he, he just, he'd come and he'd put his hand on my shoulder, put a hand, and he just knew what was wrong. I mean, it's like mm -hmm. he thought, he thought with his hands. He just intuited. Mm -hmm. and he just could see from the way you walked in. Mm -hmm. But he was so, it was mystically sensitive to how mm -hmm. your body was that day. Wow. And that was That's years. Really I mean, that was who he was. Mm -hmm. It was just a brilliant talent that he had. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, yeah. What about Hannah? You know, you talked about. Clara helping you and manipulating you and Joe manipulating. Did Hannah do the same? Was it all? She do hands oh, on? Oh, yes. And Hannah was wonderful. And she she worked with me most often. Though Joe was always there. He'd come in and for a little while and he'd go out and across the hall where his apartment was. Mm -hmm. and, and he'd stay. He'd work with different people. He kind of saw everything. And he, he felt... See, after a, after a while, and certainly after a few years, you knew what you were supposed to do. And mm -hmm. you came in and you did it. You started. Mm -hmm. And somebody always came over and helped you and assisted mm -hmm. you and corrected you. And he was always doing that. Mm -hmm. So even okay. if you were working with somebody, if he saw you doing something that wasn't just right, he'd come over. And sometimes he would just... You know, mm -hmm. it was something just as yeah. a and you'd know right yeah wow that's so he neat used his hands instead of his voice well he talked but okay. he didn't he didn't talk more than he needed to you know what I mean mm -hmm. yeah he really, and and his whole mode of operating was touching and um and really, you know, understanding your body and what it needed. Mm -hmm. uh, to yeah. After, I think mean, I told you this before, uh, after I went back to work, which was even mm -hmm. after I died, you know, I'd done this for 10 years, but only once a week. I never went in more. Um, but body sort of knew what to do. Mm -hmm. And I had two kids I had to get up at. 5 45 in the morning if, like just like elaine does now <laughs> i if i stopped for two months if i didn't do if i didn't roll out of bed and do the math mm -hmm. i get back pain yeah and i think then after doing it for so many years um <clears throat> i just it just became a routine but if i I don't think I know I wouldn't be in the shape I'm in today if I didn't do it, but I had to do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. I know what you mean. Definitely. You just like, you also don't really feel like yourself. It's like, you feel like that movement becomes part of who you, you know, you're, you're comfortable feeling good and in and, and, and your strength. And there were times in that period when I wanted to do other exercises. I used to swim and I used to take dance classes. And because mm -hmm. I, when I was very young, I did modern dance. Mm -hmm. And um, I would do that. And I had so little time, I'd squeeze it in, I'd go to the Y or I'd go to some dance. But I still had to, you know, I'd try to stop Pilates, <laughs> but I couldn't. 
<laughs> so, but then eventually you did. So what happened? You know, you did it on your own. So why did you stop going to the studio? Was there a particular? Oh, because I had to work full time. Oh, okay. I was, you know, I was in Tarrytown, and um, then I was in Irvington on the Hudson, which is, and I was working up in Briarcliff Manor. I five days a week, you know. Mm -hmm. I had two kids. Yeah. I could. So yeah. Ever, after yeah. after the ten years, did you ever go back at all, or that was it? You just. I didn't, and then. You no, know, I worked for twenty five years, <laughs> and I, when I retired, but I'd always done it on my own, mm -hmm. um, and and it kind of just disappeared. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Um, because I would kind of, I checked in with those friends. They had both big houses, they bought reformers that Joe had made at that time. I wow, mean, that's a really cool. So now yeah. a lot of times, you know, when we have these pictures of Joe, they're in black and white, because that was the film that was used. But um, do you remember the colors of the studio? I know we talked about the walls and, you know, things like the upholstery colors or were things painted, I'm you know. The upholstery, yeah. It mm -hmm. was kind of, it was kind of a, like vinyl, but it was brown. Uh huh. I think it was a little darker than this, but it was kind yeah. of medium brown. Mm hmm. And we had talked before because I showed you one of the pictures. We do have some color, and then we saw that there was like that turquoise wall color. Yeah. Yeah. But, but there wasn't much wall because he had a lot of pictures. There were mirrors. There were, pict <clears throat> there were pictures. There was mm -hmm. all that glass on one side. Mm -hmm. So there wasn't, I don't remember a lot of color. Yeah, okay. Okay. I think we've seen um, some of that, that tan color, Sean, right? In some of yeah. the pictures you have, yeah. And I have a chair. I have one of the chairs from his studio and it has that tan upholstery yeah. on it. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> all right, that's really neat. And the reformers too. Mm -hmm. I use the same, he used the same material. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it was because, I mean, when I started working there, they didn't have these range of plastics that they had. Mm -hmm. I mean, I remember the exercise clothes I wore. Okay. And they were cotton knit tights from Capizio. Uh-huh. That's all there was. There was no stretch anything. <laughs> right. Didn't stretch. It was like agony to get these things up. And I was kind of in a hurry. It was really hard. And it's even yeah. worse when you're all sweaty getting them off. Right. <laughs> you can peel them off, but yeah. you can get them on. And they could go inside out, things like that. Right. Yeah, for sure.